So the reflex arc, um, I apologize for my terrible drawing. You guys know I can't draw, but um, I've done what I can. Okay. So the reflex arc is one of the simplest types of responses that our um, nervous system does, which is why you need to know it. Um, and all reflex arcs, the, the idea is why they are simple is because they don't involve any processing by the brain. So they are an automatic response. Okay. So they are fast and they are automatic. Um, and they are, so, and the idea is that they're responses to outside stimuli. And usually though they are in place because they, the body is trying to avoid physical damage. All right. So they're fast because they don't involve processing by the brain. Basically, the fewer nerves that something has to go through, the faster it's going to be. So and they're automatic, like I said. So even if the brain doesn't know that your hand is, you know, is, is over a candle, it's st your your body is still going to pull back that hand. All right. And you'll, you'll notice this if you've ever been burned. Um, I'm not suggesting you go out and do that please don't but the idea is that what happens is you'll pull back like if you touch a hot stove or something like that you'll pull back and then fractions of a second later you'll realize why you did it you'll be like oh that was hot um and so it's it's that's what i mean by automatic your brain doesn't process it your brain still gets informed about it but it learns later okay there are three types of neurons involved i have another video where i talk about the structure of those three and just the structure of neurons in general so if you want to check that out you can but this is just about the reflex arc so the idea is i've already labeled this so this is my candle it's burning that's my flame on the candle um and this so this heat is acting as the stimulus all right and so then what happens is this is a hand i know it only has two fingers and one thumb don't at me okay but um it's what i could draw so the idea is that you have um the first neuron that that the impulse travels through is the sensory neuron and the idea is that the sensory neuron has here in the skin there are receptors that and you can have different types of receptors you have heat receptors you have uh, pressure receptors temperature receptors pain receptors but so this one would be a heat receptor and so then the idea is that that impulse that generates an impulse in the sensory neuron it's carried through the sensory neuron okay and it's going towards the uh, cell body, which I've dictated here with little tiny circles with dots, those dots represent the nuclei. Um, so it's carried towards, and so this is a dendrite, right? A dendron here coming, so these are dendrites, dendrons, towards the, um, the cell bodies. This line delineates the CNS. So CNS stands for central nervous system. You guys, I realize that your spine isn't actually located here on your shoulder. Again, forgive the drawing, okay? But basically the CNS is the central nervous system and there are two parts to it there is the spinal cord and there are the brain it consists of the brain and the spinal cord and the idea is that all of your um nerve cells the bodies of the nerve cells like where the nuclei are can you guys see this See if I bring it a little closer. There we go. I'll bring it a little closer at the end as well. So the idea is that these are all located within the spinal cord or the brain, all of the body, which is why damage to the spinal cord means that people can be paralyzed and things like that, right? So, oops, I didn't write spinal cord. I just wrote spinal. There we go. All right. So the sensory neuron then carries the impulse to the CNS. So the idea is that you're taking it to the CNS. And then from there, it passes to what we call a relay neuron. So this is a relay neuron here. Right, the relay neuron you'll notice is quite short. Uh oh, I've, now it doesn't want to focus on. It's too bright. Hold on, let me fix this. All right, um, still the focus isn't great. Okay, uh, so this is your relay neuron. The relay neuron is located entirely within the CNS, right? If this is the line that delineates, so this is the relay neuron. Um, and remember that neurons are not connected. So what you have between them here, and also from the relay neuron to the next one. These are called synapses. These are the little gaps where you get the electrical impulse switched to a chemical uh, neurotransmitter that's released and diffuses across the gap. So anyway, so you have the relay neuron and then the relay neuron takes it to the third and final type of neuron and that is called a motor neuron. And the motor neuron 
is attached to the effector, which in this case is the muscle. So for all reflex arcs, um, many of them have effectors, muscles as the effectors. If not, sometimes it's a gland. So for example, like the release of adrenaline, that would be um, due to, uh, that's part of a reflex arc as well. And so the effector in that case is the gland, the releasing of adrenaline. And so the idea is that the muscle then contracts Right. That's the, so the effector is the muscle. The um, reaction to that stimulus is that the muscle contracts and pulls your hand back so that the skin doesn't get damaged. I apologize for the terrible focus on this. I will hold it up so that you all can see what's written. So, but for the most part, if you remember the name of the neurons in the order, the sensory neuron, the relay neuron, the motor neuron, the idea that you have an effector, the motor neuron is connected to that. Again, the motor neuron's cell body is still located within the CNS. Right. So that's what you have there. Let me see if I can get that to focus a little better. No, it's not going to do that. Come on. All right. Well, hopefully you guys can read that.